1985, a group of scientists from Cetus Corporation, a small biotechnology company from Emeryville, California, gave a 10-minute presentation at the American Society of Human Genetics, meeting in Salt Lake City. Those 10 minutes introduced a revolutionary scientific breakthrough that would change people's lives worldwide. The team presented Polymerase Chain Reaction, or PCR technology, used to analyze a mutation observed in genetic code of people with sickle cell anemia. The PCR process, a method of exponentially copying sections of DNA, was published later that year in Science, the academic journal for the American Association for Scientific Advancement, and one of the world's top scientific journals. CETA's scientist, Dr. Kerry Mullis, and his team conceived of the PCR technique in 1983. However, conception was just the first step. The road to practical PCR was marked by a series of milestones achieved by a team of dedicated scientists collaborating to turn a brilliant idea into a practical everyday laboratory technique. The original concept of PCR was very simple. You know, you have uh, two oligonucleotide primers and a DNA polymerase, and it's an exponential uh, reaction, but that was, of course, a concept and that was the way it operated in theory. For the first year or two, we were working with uh, DNA polymerase from E. coli. Uh, and the, the issue using that uh, DNA polymerase was that at the denaturation step, we had to heat the reaction to about 95 degrees to denature the DNA, that is separate the two strands of DNA so that they could function as a template for primer annealing and primer extension by the DNA polymerase. But of course, when you heated the reaction to 95 degrees, you denatured and inactivated the E. coli DNA polymerase. In that configuration where you had to add DNA polymerase after every cycle, I think it never could have become uh, the standard of molecular biology research that it is now, and it could have never achieved its status as a major uh, element in molecular diagnostics. In 1986, CETA scientist Dr. David Gelvan isolated the DNA polymerase enzyme from Thermus aquaticus, a bacterium originally isolated in a hot spring in Yellowstone National Park, nicknamed TAC. The enzyme could replicate DNA in the extension phase of PCR. With this heat-stable enzyme, the reaction could occur in a closed tube without having to replace enzymes that were heat-sensitive. A huge advance, this was a turning point in the evolution of PCR. In 1988, the technology company Perkin Elmer introduced the automated thermocycler that automatically performed heating and cooling cycles required for replication to take place. This represented another great advance in the evolution of the technology, as PCR technicians were freed from the manual and labor-intensive process. This instrumentation took advantage of the heat-stable enzyme that allowed the entire process to take place in just one reaction tube, further streamlining PCR. In 1989, the year science declared TAC polymerase molecule of the year, Huffman LaRoche Incorporated and CETUS agreed to joint develop diagnostic applications for PCR, changing the landscape of molecular diagnostics. By 1990, PCR had become a reality in diagnostic laboratories. Roche invested heavily in research and development to accelerate the use of PCR technology with an emphasis on practical application to improve laboratory efficiency and to develop new tests to meet major unmet medical needs. In 1991, Roche acquired the rights to PCR technology from CETUS and Roche Molecular Diagnostics was born. In 1993, a Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to Dr. Mullis to recognize the significance of PCR. It is considered to be one of the most important scientific advances of the 20th century. Since then, Roche has dedicated significant resources to accelerating the development of practical PCR applications and has developed diagnostic tests for more than 20 different diseases. Roche is also responsible for keeping world blood supplies safe through its PCR-based blood screening tests. With many patents held, Roche Molecular Diagnostics not only defined and redefined PCR, but has remained the clear leader and trailblazer of this technology.